Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, where I share with you all the juicy gossip, the hottest trends, and the most amazing secrets of the stars. Today, we've got something truly extraordinary. It's a visit that defies tradition, challenges norms, and leaves everyone wondering, is this even real? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's unofficial royal tour to Nigeria sparks controversy. Royal experts have accused the Duke and Duchess of Sussex of embarking on their own rival royal roadshow during their upcoming unofficial visit to Nigeria. Although not an official royal tour, the couple's trip has drawn attention due to its resemblance to one. Here are the key points. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been invited by Nigeria's chief of defense staff to participate in cultural activities and meet service members during their visit. The couple's decision to undertake this unofficial tour has raised eyebrows, especially given their previous critical remarks about the Commonwealth. Playing the royal card Critics argue that Harry and Meghan are leveraging their royal connections for personal gain. Their income reportedly relies on such engagements. Despite distancing themselves from the royal family, they continue to exploit their ties for publicity. Irony and Selective Invitations the couple's willingness to visit Commonwealth countries unofficially contrasts with their reluctance to serve as official royal ambassadors. The late Queen had hoped they would promote goodwill across the Commonwealth, but they declined to do so during their official tour in 2019. Now, they selectively accept invitations, including the upcoming trip to Nigeria, a country previously visited by Princess Diana and the King in the 1990s. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's actions stir debate over royal intentions. Critics suggest that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are attempting to establish an alternative to the traditional royal presence with their actions. Despite their previous public criticisms of the monarchy and the Commonwealth, they seem to welcome invitations that stem from their royal status. Critique of the Sussex's approach The couple's approach has been perceived as an attempt to maintain a semblance of royal influence while engaging in commercial ventures. Their behavior has raised concerns about potential diplomatic faux pas during unofficial visits. Concerns over mixed messages Observers note a contradiction in the couple's actions as they engage in activities that suggest a desire to retain some royal privileges. The late queen's efforts to avoid such a half in, half out Scenarios seem to be challenged by the Sussex's current path. A royal observer emphasizes the importance of the Sussex's conduct during their visits, given their past critical remarks about the Commonwealth. Any hope for reconciliation within the royal family hinges on the couple's ability to refrain from actions or comments that could harm the monarchy's relationship with the Commonwealth. In summary, Prince Harry and Meghan's departure from senior royal duties in January 2020 and subsequent relocation to Montecito, California, continues to be a topic of discussion as their choices could influence perceptions of the monarchy and its global connections. While not officially labeled a royal tour, Harry and Meghan's visit to Nigeria remains a topic of debate, potentially impacting diplomatic relations. Their motives, as Commonwealth members, remain unclear. Meghan's personal link to Nigeria, discovered through her genealogy, adds an intriguing dimension to the visit. Thank you so much for watching, my lovely fans. You are the best. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.